so the dust fest begins. Oh, she's slippery straight away. Somebody realises they haven't got their ABS off. And we are going to see shit today. Are we recording? Yep. Well, my first corner mark. And she is dusty. It's off. Let's watch a few bikes come through. With so much dust, it's a bit hard to see the trail. Although this trail's been pretty good. Tilio on his new 690, some T7s, classic DRZs. Honda? No. Kato, old one. That is a noisy mofo exhaust on that little 250. Another 690, they're becoming very popular around path on some of these rides for as a dual sport. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Too bad about every other poor bastard he has to cut through <laughs> in his roost. <laughs> Do not want to be sitting behind a bike with a big rear tire spinning up like that today. Oh, there's us. There is a lot of dust. Fourth gear. <sighs> nice little twin track though. Looks like we're hitting some sand. Not too much, no worse than the soft gravel. a little bit of a meeting point. What dust? What dust? I don't know. Then you should have come here yesterday and watered the track down. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Maybe you could do that next time. <laughs> hey, somebody's got to see where they're going. Mate, you big 890s with your fat tyres, roost and dust everywhere. Whoever's sitting behind this one. Rant, rant. Enfield guy went home, right? Oh, did he? Yeah. I passed him a while back. One went home. One's gone home. Okay. <sighs> No. <sighs> 
Got a bit of a diversion around some trees here. Much better when you're a bit spread out. Not quite as much dust and this stuff doesn't leave as much dust. She's a fun today. Wee. Going bush again. Oh, this looks so interesting. Is there a track or is it just a diversion? It's a diversion. Oh shit. Now I've got to suck up more dust. It's going to do the log hop. Let's get this on camera. Nicely done. No point going too hard and catching up because you're not going to end up seeing much. The old 690s fans are kicking in. At this pace, she runs a little hot. Ah. The trail's down here somewhere, he says. the loudest 250 I've ever heard. Oh, this looks interesting. Bloody spider webs. Oh, shit's getting nasty. I've been down this track when it's wet and it is ugly and going at this speed is makes it twice as hard Just get caught up in that shit. A beautiful morning.
She will get warm a bit later today, I think 36 degrees or 35 degrees, something like that. Hopefully we'll be done well before then. Oh, enough like a bit of, bit of friendly sand. back into the leafy shit Oy. <laughs> nice big log there about foot size you can see my big 14 smacking that thing Was the south side of uh, Brookton Highway. We're now jumping over to the north side, heading back up to Mundaring. Uh, what road is this? Breaking Ridge. Yeah, this is a cool little road. Pretty easy. A little bit of sand. Old mate likes to wait and then overtake everybody. <laughs> Quite good on that 650. All right, let's get that out of the way. Indicator off, that'll help. Ooh, and that's the other problem. You see all these dust, and you miss all these rocks and rock shelves and ruts, and pound the shit out of your front wheel. From memory, this road's pretty good. It's well used, but oh, like that. There's still those ruts, and there's a, I think there's a muddy section which will be dry now, but some big holes, especially the four-wheel drives, create some big, uh, big bloody uh, ruts. Case in point. <laughs> Shit like that. So that's hence why visibility is <laughs> not underrated on these tracks. Okay. Markers. Not really an ideal corner marker, but at least you know you're going in the right direction. Oh, forget this shit. Come on. Now you can see uh, how much dust we got. Try and hang back a bit, although when you do, somebody will inevitably think that's an invitation to overtake. And then you're just sitting in dust again, which is, you know, okay. Each to their own. I have overtaken plenty today. There we go, yep. <laughs> On cue. not speaking too soon but we haven't done too much single trail today it's been fairly well gazetted you know forest or twin track oh yeah yeah this is the shit section <laughs> it's usually quite muddy through here get caught in that 
when it's full of water, you'll know about it. Front wheel will not be your own. You want to give it plenty, but then you just never know what you're going to have to dodge. Here we go. Like this shit. Uh, straight through, I guess. Ooh. And yeah, out the other side. Yeah, last time I came through here, she was good and muddy. And it was definitely a bit of fun. Oh, a bit of sand. And you can't see where you go. Oh, there's a bike. Look at that. When you're on these roads, you do tend to go faster and kick up a lot more dust. When you've got the uh, tighter single trail stuff, the speed is a lot less, the dust is a lot less. Ooh, sand. Mind you, it's pretty hard, it's not too bad. <laughs> Neck minute, I'm down on my ass. Whoop, whoop. Pretty hard underneath. Oh, what's up here? I can't see. No, I think somebody's behind me. Yep. Let him go past. If he wants to. Some people are happy just to plough into the dust. Their reaction's no doubt a lot better than mine. I do love this 690 though. God damn, it's a great dual sport bike. Ooh, uh, <laughs> Just, here we go. You might warm up a little bit here. Not quite single tree, oh, here we go. Now we shit's getting serious. I oh, know, just going around a tree. Definitely remember the sand on this one, in the corners particularly. Here's your feet, Frank. Got somebody up my clacker, but... Right, come past. Pick your spot. Using the rear brake. I can't quite do that because of my oop, ABS. I can't be asked turning it off. Ooh, I did the same. Oh shit. Lost the front. Keep some momentum up. Like a bit technical sand work. Be nice if there was a bit more vision, but you know, adds to the challenge. Oh, whoops! Oh, oh shit! Don't get too far forward. Dab. 
stop trying to fight it. Stay on the back pegs a little. Use your feet more. <laughs> Old DR650, he's loving this shit. Oh, blow out the corner. Stay on the back. Cut my tight corner. Oh, why are we stopping here? Ooh. Sorry, ABS won't stop. ABS is great until it isn't. <laughs> Woo! Stay in it, stay in it. Use those feet. Back on the trail again. Still heading east. Not sure what trail we're trying to pick up. Okay, don't know how much battery life I've got. We've been waiting a few minutes. No one behind us. Can't hear anybody. Somebody might have... Somebody might have had an off! And they stopped! Can't hear anybody. Oh. I kept looking behind and, and didn't see any, apart from the two guys that passed me and then did the last two corner marks, I haven't seen anybody else. I'm pretty sure something happened then. Yeah, somebody might have come off, had a flat. Pretty fast, so we'll be all here now. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it was kept a pretty good pace all the way through. Okay, well, we're heading back. Made the decision, or captain's decision. So, somebody might have had a bit of a mechanical, or maybe a bit of a off track. So, uh, we'll just head back slowly, and see uh, where everyone is. Somebody might have taken a wrong turn. So, well, we've uh, found the source of the issue. Old, old mate here on the 890. He's been riding at a fair old clip today. Uh, went a little bit off track. I think he's hit a couple of big ruts and and uh, had a big jar to the hands and the wrists. I oh, know that's a different rider to who I thought. Anyway, um, yes, uh, he's okay. And he wants to keep going. The rest of the group are now catching up so we'll carry on not far to go but good to know everybody is safe and well and there's our tail end Charlie whose nickname is Charlie <laughs> 